Welcome to episode 20 of Catch Up With Max and Jose. I'm Max. And I'm Jose. And I'm off camera. And once again, I am the disembodied host ghost because... Your was... ghost host from <laughs> you the haunted mansion. I look a mess. I had a cup of noodles, so I feel extra it's bloated. True. It's true. I, like, I'm wearing this giant t-shirt. Like, you know, those t-shirts that you wear to sleep that are like... <laughs> <laughs> those promotional shirts. <laughs> Time is it? <laughs> Yeah, so um, we're back after a little bit of a... A bit of a hiatus. Yeah, but not much of a break. Just a hiatus. No, not a break yeah. at all. And then... And behind the bar for Drinking History, which yeah. just begun. Uh, the red chair is no longer a thing, really. The red chair is a thing. It's just over there, and it's not a very... We had to move it to make room for the bar, and now it's not a very filmable yeah. area. Max often complains that uh, there's not enough room in the house. And I would throw that thing into a wood chipper, but apparently it has value, sentimental value. The chair? Yeah. What's where Cersei sits? Not but so I haven't long. seen her sit on there yeah, in a while. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. She mostly hides, yeah. We can get rid of it, I guess. Oh man, we are so off our groove. What are we discussing today? I don't know. We're gonna talk about your medieval restaurants episode. Restaurants. Yes, sir. Yes. So this time on Tasting History, that's not a thing either. I don't have a catchphrase for this channel, do I? This time on Ketchup with Max and Jose. It doesn't have quite the ring. We'll, no, work, we'll work. workshop this. How long have we been doing this now? A while. Oh. Though people, ha people did point out what? I tried to be sneaky what happened? on the first episode of Drinking History. People noticed? A few people noticed. Ah, oh, man. Okay. So, I said, because, you know, second nature, plus I had a drink or two, I said, this time on tasting history, but I meant drinking history, but I didn't realize it until I was editing, and so I, like, was able to take drinking history from later on and, like, move it under it. Uh, it looked passable. I think I did I pretty good. <laughs> people but noticed. a few people noticed. Maybe just your mouth didn't make the right movements. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's ever so slightly off. Jesus, it's kind of scary that people are looking I know. so closely. <laughs> I know. I don't even pay that close attention. <laughs> Clearly, I watch lot. these things like literally 40 times. <laughs> so um, this uh, Rastons episode, um, you, you did it a year ago, back in May of 2020. And Seems like years ago. Throwback. People often like to comment on your well-manicured hair. Your hair was not well manicured then. At that point, it was getting a little crazy. A little crazy. This was before I let you cut my hair. Yes. The first time was a little eh. Second time was a lot better. You know what? And, and I never got a third chance because you The only like... problem was it took too long. Well, what else you got to do besides film a successful YouTube channel? You're busy YouTube too. Channel. <laughs> You're right. I was you don't even... need to be learning how to give haircuts if you don't need to. <laughs> You're right. I have plenty to do. Um, so the rest on this episode, you open the episode saying... You love bread. Do you still love bread, Max? I love bread. You still love bread? I love bread. I thought you were doing like a no bread thing. Well, I'm trying to cut carbs, but I don't mean I don't love bread. <laughs> trying then, to cut carbs, he said. Yeah. Well, look well I, I have cut a lot of... I'm just cutting back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and not then as many pastries. Another, uh, one of the big questions you had posed in that episode was the... Is a restaurant a bread or is it a pastry? Hmm. Do we have a definite answer now? No. Year? no. No, because the the term pastry didn't even mean the same thing back then, so you couldn't ever really. Most bakers that I talked to said that they would consider it still a bread, just like they would consider brioche bread. They would not consider brioche pastry, mm -hmm. though some do. That's what I'm saying. That even even the professional bakers they couldn't they could not agree. So doesn't okay. really matter. Well, there you go. And then as far as uh, this episode in the history, the time for history portion, you do go into the history of Millers and how you're a Miller. I am a Miller. Matt Miller. Uh, <laughs> um, in, in your research, have you found any other interesting facts about Millers and other cultures in different eras? I'm trying to think. Yeah, but I... I put me on the spot. I know, I put I you on the spot. Remember. There, in some places, they were much much better regarded, but in most in most places, not just medieval Europe, they were not a loved people. Crazy. Even though they're the ones making your 
making your flour, but they, they seem to be not always the most trustworthy at all. What was that thing about a golden thumb I mentioned? Yeah, and I can't remember exactly what the phrase was, but it essentially let, alluded to the fact that, you know, they had a heavy thumb on the scales and, and tended to overcharge and everything. But later on, especially, you get a lot of, you know, during the 18th and 19th century especially, you get a lot of adulteration of flour where they're adding in things like ground up concrete and literal dirt Jesus or limestone and other things, things that could kill you. Yeah, it's interesting. So they're cutting their flour with other things. Yeah. And you kind of meant bring in that idea of cutting into the, your saffron episode and how yeah. different Well, now, now that's one of the most adulterated products, saffron and olive oil. Even to this day. Even to this day. Which you mentioned. And... Flour, not so much because flour is so, so cheap now. You yeah. Know? So that, both of those episodes have been within the last month, right? Saffron and yeah. olive oil. It's just from the time that this was recorded just a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. For hummus. Hummus. A.K.A. baby hummus. food for adults. I love hummus. <laughs> Let me knock in my hummus. No, no, no. You can, you can enjoy your hummus. So um, is there anything else in this episode that you remember? I know you mentioned that you haven't even seen this episode. For a year You have ago. a hard time going back. I, re- I so rarely go back. Yeah. And for the new viewers... It's not so much that, he, well, it's partly because sometimes it's harder to watch some of the earlier episodes for you because you've come. They're rough. They're a little rougher. They're rough. <laughs> Though, actually, I really like the rest on them. But. <laughs> and um, so you've come it's a long way. It's going to be the same with drinking history in six months. Yeah. I'll be like, oh. And just in general, you, you don't have as much time. And, yeah. and and then people like to ask me, it's like, oh, you're so lucky you live with a cook and a chef. Like, he don't cook don't for me. Time to cook. <laughs> and he doesn't have time to cook. And he really only cooks for the show. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's people have this misconception that I live with like a famous chef. Well, that's I why do I like, not. <laughs> I love like the, you know, when we get the Hello Fresh stuff. and Because like, okay, a lot of the work has already been done. Yeah. We can spend an evening cooking. I love the Hello Fresh stuff. Just... Well, we're going to be getting more soon. So. <laughs> Hello right. Fresh coming up. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll take my hand at one of the recipes. Yes. Well, they're all, I think I'm getting all vegetarian ones for uh, this one. Really? You'll see why. Okay. You'll see why. Well, people are always asking about vegetarian recipes if it's yes. if it's a vegan thing or or vegetarian dishes. I don't know if what I'm making is vegan yet. Oh, but is Maybe. it vegetarian? Probably not because it probably has fish sauce in it. Got it. All right. So before we kind of wrap up our little rest on segment, usually I make you watch this, but we're kind of filming on a whim. <laughs> <laughs> on a whim i meant to come back i i need it's been fill- so long i know I, we're, we're, we're like rusty like even just like our opening is kind of like uh i'm off camera because I, I look a mess jamie's on the floor Hi, uh, Jamie. we're falling apart but Hi, um <laughs> one thing i i miss is you had a uh team rocket pikachu and it's not in the house because you made me pack up a bunch of my toys and i made you pack up the, that one? Yeah, it was on the shelf, and I put a oh. bunch of those Pikachu away. It makes me sound like a <laughs> Grinch. Make you. I don't make you. <laughs> I just said we need space. And here are a bunch of boxes. Get out. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so anyway, but in their place, I do have um, some pop figures from, the sh- from some shows that I've been working on. So on your left is the Bad Batch. It's Hunter and Wrecker, and then we have uh, Peggy Carter, Super Soldier, for um, What If, that as of this filming actually premieres eight, Wednesday, 8 11th. I'm super excited, and I've been working really hard on it with my team. So, yes. Anyway, so as we move on to our next portion, do you remember the Raston song? Gosh, I just heard it. Um... Na, na, na. You cut your rest, rest on, on, then you gut your rest on. on mix the butter, butter and, and crumbs. <laughs> See, you're the singing one. I can't. Mix the butter and crumbs in the butt of rest on. Put the crown. Put the crown on and let, let it, it bake five more minutes. There now, you have your rest on. Yay! I was gonna make you sing something else if you couldn't remember, but that that works. I'll take yeah, it. I remembered enough. <laughs> it. It's pretty good for being over a year. I'm going to try and get more singing into these videos. It's really hard to get him sing. It's a lot of work. 
Singing? It's it's an odd because the sound and the it's a lot more work. Okay. Seems easy. Okay. All right. Let's move on. So up next, I want to discuss movies. And before we do, going back quickly, you mentioned a history hat in this episode, and I finally got yes. you a history hat. And which from Townsend? From Townsend's, I had ordered your hat, which you don't wear often enough. It's around the house. I know. I know. <clears throat> <laughs> you can impress me. Yes. But I got you a different hat. It does look good on me. <laughs> it though, looks great hat. on you. This hat. It's a skipper hat. From Jungle Cruise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, if he would be a good skipper at that ride. I would have been very good at yeah, that. Yeah, you would have been really good yeah. at that. Do they pre-write those jokes? They do, right? Like A lot of them, but you can, you know, you can add in your own. You can own, add your own flavor. Your own flavor. Your own. Some, some are so iconic now. Mm, your own flair. John Lasseter, that was his first job at Disney, I believe. Really? Yeah. Disneyland as a For skipper. Disneyland as the skipper. That's awesome. The Jungle Cruise. Pixar John Lasseter, right? Yes. Okay. And then Disney Animation, and now he doesn't work there anymore. Yeah. We won't go into that. <laughs> All right. So, um, Drama. Uh, so, Jungle Cruise. Before we jump into the movies like Jungle Cruise, I wanted to run down some streaming shows that we've been watching in the last oh, like, yeah. two months. Yeah. So, top of mind are The Morning Show. So good. So great. The Morning Show. Watch it. It's like... Great cast. Great cast. It starts off like the very first scene. You're in it, and you don't know how to feel. That's th what... I love shows or movies where there is no bad guy. There is a bad guy, but even the bad guys... Like everyone you, is, they're complicated. They're yeah. not just like cookie cutter. You no know, one's perfect. Nobody's Everyone's perfect. Flawed. Even the good guys are not all good guys. You know, it's there. It's and isn't that just more realistic? It's more realistic. Yeah, things well, it's aren't based binary. On, it's based on a real. Um, loosely, it's based on on the real story of like the Today Show and uh, stuff. From a few well, it has ago. a great cast. It's fantastic. Fun dialogue. Watch it. It's yeah. on Apple TV. Apple TV. We have Apple TV. And I only have it because I have a year. Of because I got a... Yeah, so we need to come out again. Yeah, so we can watch I think season two is coming pretty soon. <laughs> All right, next show, Hacks. Hacks. I enjoyed Hacks. I enjoyed it a lot. It's a little hacky. Uh, it's it's a little hokey. Okay. Some yeah. of the dialogue. But yeah. I, I you really know, I, enjoy it. I, I like the elder comedian more than the younger one. Yes. I think the younger well, one's... she's more likable, even though she's supposed to be... Talk about the bad guy. She's supposed to be horrible, but boy... She's... I, I, I definitely side with her. Yeah. Check it out. It's funny. And it's, uh, like I said, it's a show that I feel it's like your mom young, would enjoy. A young <laughs> comedian and an old comedian like coming together. Worlds collide. And yeah. Yeah. No, it's funny. In Vegas. That one. She's eight, like crazy rich. It's true. I got a bunch of Emmy nominations. Yeah. So yeah. amazing. Uh, and this one we're still watching and probably going to try and finish tonight maybe if you have time. The White Lotus. The White Lotus. Yes. Yes, we just started it. Are we going to finish it? We just watched it. I think it's only. Night? I think it's only five episodes. Oh, well, I think we might we, finish it then. We might, yeah, yeah. So a little bit about it. We. It's. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. I'm not I'm, totally sure. I'm loving it, and I'm totally invested. It, it, I have no idea. It's what's... about a bunch of people staying at a, at a resort hotel in Hawaii. Uh, yeah, a resort in Hawaii called the White Lotus, and it's entirely character driven, and I have no idea where it's going. But it has that lady from, who likes hot dogs. Oh. <laughs> I cannot remember her name for the life of she, me. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge. Yes, I can't remember her name. Stifler's mom. Jennifer Coolidge, that's her name. That's a different... Yeah. I just always right. think of her actually as from Best in Show. We like peas and talking and not talking. We could talk or not talk for hours <laughs> and still find stuff not to talk about. <laughs> that's her best character is she the same character in every she's kind movie? of the same character in every, but i think it's i think she can play a lot more it's just that she's so good at that character <laughs> for some reason i always want to say charo i want to say kuchi kuchi but that's not her charo. i don't know like for the blondness and so goofiness of it, it kind of reminds Actually, me of her. i can kind of see a little yeah, bit yeah yeah okay but no jennifer it's Coolidge not the same not person i know it's charo. not but i always go in that direction because yeah. i never remember her name Anyway, The White Lotus, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, yes. hopefully it a finale as well. And if it does, if it gets a second season, great. But I don't think it needs one, right? Like I don't know. Because I'm not entirely sure what the show's yet. about. <laughs> All right. Uh, a show that we watched last season and this season still is still great. Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso? Oh, 
It's so good. Yeah. It's just... It it's just feels nice. the happiest show. It's like Valium on TV. It's just so happy. Yeah. It's weird because it, it's like soccer related, which we're kind of like... I nah. know. It's topics that I... Yeah. But it's in England. But it's so likable too. It's wonderful. Yeah. Watch Ted Lasso. Yeah. Gotta need, watch if it. If you need to pick me up, if you're having a bad day, watch Ted Lasso. Yep. Uh, another one that we started last year, we're still watching in, Lego Masters. Oh, yeah. Lego, Lego Masters is a lot of fun. Especially while I'm doing my Lego. Yeah, yeah. My it's, Lego. Singular. That's right, Lego. And it's thematic, and it's well-rated for a reason. I love it. I wa- we catch it on Hulu when we can. Yes. Yes, we got to catch up, I think. Uh, and then this one, you actually didn't watch, but I did. It's the Mysterious Benedict Society. It's on Disney+. Plus. It's very charming. It, it is more of a young children cast, so it's a little whimsical. It kind of reminds me of, like, Roald Dahl books, like, Matilda and so it's, I like that. I like, like if that. if you have like a middle schooler, fifth grader, they might be into it. It's 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 funny and quirky. When Jamie gets a little older. Yeah. How old is he in cat years? Do you think? I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, and next one, as I mentioned, uh, the Bad Batch is final finaling. This is pretty much the that's the shirt you're wearing. Yeah, and the hat. <laughs> the closing of the Clone Wars, essentially, with the season one. Season two has been announced for next year. Maybe I'll get to work on it again. I do not know. We'll it see. did really well. Like it, yeah. the reception for it was pretty great. So it was fun. I enjoyed it. I'm excited. Um, I didn't finish it, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. No, well, definitely we should watch. There's a lot. There's a lot. The of last episodes. two episodes because it's finale one and two. It, 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 it's, it's I mean, great. It has two finales. <laughs> oh my God. I won't spoil it, but I, I do think you should at least watch the finales if you're a Star Wars fan. If you're a Star Wars. Yes. Because it is very entrenched in that transition. Yeah, it's not a between it's not a jump into the world. The kind empire, of show. yeah, you get little details, world building, a lot of world building post um, episode three, and then again, what if is kind of my big thing, uh, my first but it's not big Marvel yeah. title. It will be by the time you watch it. Oh, so yeah, stay tuned. Nine episodes. Stay tuned. It's great. A lot of fun. And then last but not least, this is one you were watching. Miss Scarlet and... Miss Scarlet and the Duke. It's a PBS Masterpiece Theater. Well, it's a BBC show, as are pretty much all PBS Masterpiece mm-hmm, Theater. Mm-hmm. But it takes place, I believe it's, I want to say it's like the 1880s, maybe 1870s, 80s, in London. Um, she, her, well, I won't, it happens in the first episode, but she is a private eye, basically which is obviously a man's job at the time. And so it's her being That's trying sexist. to get into it. Well, yeah, but she has to pay. Like, she's also got money troubles because her family is gone. And it's really, really good. It's 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 very good. And she's she's just very charming in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, what, what? But it's like a murder mystery. And, and 1800s. And I we didn't watch it, it with me because it's a show I wouldn't like or... I guess not. I don't know. I mean, you didn't even ask. You know what I want? Well, because I started like one day when you were out. But okay. you know what I do want to rewatch? Because Amadeus. a second movie is coming out. Oh. Downton Abbey, which you have never watched. I have never. So we will watch Downton Abbey. Hey, my if co- anyone wants to watch Downton Abbey with us, and we can go through <laughs> the entire series together. Only if you make me scones. I, I, I can do a Downton Abbey. Okay, when the, when the second movie comes out. I'm totally doing a Downton Abbey episode because actually I don't like scones; they're kind of dry. I'll do other things. <laughs> we'll do a, t- a whole tea. Maybe and with do... drinking history. Oh my gosh! It'll be a whole week because we could do some of the foods from tea and then the the actual tea and make some English teas. I feel like you're over promising, but okay. No, I totally think that'll okay. be fun. Okay. All right. So that that wraps up our streaming segment. All right. So we're gonna move to this one quickly because it's. This episode's getting along. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you know, making up for some lost ground. How's that? Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Um, we haven't gone to the movies that much, but we have seen a few. The last one, going back a bit, is Black Widow. Loved it. Loved it. I highly recommend it. It's a lot funnier than I thought it would be. And I meant to see it again on IMAX, and I didn't. But I'll be seeing it on Disney Plus once it comes out yes. soon. Uh, next one, the hat you're wearing, Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise? Yes. Really enjoyed it much more than I thought I would. I thought it was just fun. It's just fun. I like The Rock. The I Rock like is Emily great. Blunt. Emily Blunt is great. It's not groundbreaking, but it's fun. But it's fun. Although I did fall asleep because I had a lot of sugar and I you crashed. You fall asleep during every movie though. No, no, so no. That's that not true. Matter not always, but I had a lot of sugar. I, I bought, every time. I bought like sweet tarts and I had bought like sour Skittles, which I love, but I always choke on them. Uh, yeah, and yeah, and I had a sugar crash. And I fell asleep and woke up and I'm like, okay, this is cute. But yeah, Jungle Cruise. 
Uh, the Suicide Squad is the most recent one we've Loved seen. Loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Especially in comparison with the first one, oh, which man. doesn't even count as a film. The first one is an one of the worst things I've ever seen. Yes. Yes. And the, the new one was fun. That was a lot of fun. It's, it's, uh, James it's Gunn. It's definitely got that James Gunn, Guardians of the Galaxy feel. Guardians of the Galaxy, sure. but for adults. And it was a lot of fun. Like, I would watch it again on HBO Max. I don't think you can hear our neighbors. I hope but not. Wow, they're loud. What are they even doing? <laughs> Might be someone's birthday. Killing a goat? I think they're or having a birthday. They're having Maybe they're a killing a goat for the birthday. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. But anyway, Suicide Squad. I do feel bad because it didn't perform that well in the box office. Yeah, it's fine. They're fine. COVID times, but it's also on HBO Max, but it's free, so it's it's. They're fine. <laughs> don't worry. I want them. the movie to do well. I know. Okay. Especially after the first one. They'll still be around. It needs a redemption. This is not a redemption. Yeah, right? yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need like the first one t- to be entirely repudiated. Like, it's not even a thing. burnery it's copy, a landfill. Oh, anyway, okay. Next movie, The Green Knight. You have opinions on this one? I didn't love it. I enjoyed it. As yes, many of my friends did, and I really wanted to. Yeah. I feel like you went into it with a bad mood because I I, I, I I was in a bad mood, and yeah, it just I didn't like the ending. They totally changed the moral of the story. The moral. What moral? There's a moral. Um, there, there's barely a story. Listing exactly. It. So don't change what there is. Why not? Because there's no story. Um, I did love the uh, set design mm-hmm. until, for some reason, everything was kind of in this quasi 11th century, and then all of a sudden they walk into like a 17th century castle. I'll give you that. Like Elizabethan. That was kind of jarring. Yeah. But other than that, it was beautifully shot. Yeah. I just, it was a little, I felt it was trying too hard. <laughs> I, I mean, I get the idea that it, maybe it's a little highbrow. Maybe you just don't get yeah, it. Yeah, maybe I just maybe don't, just get, don't it. get it. Maybe it's not for you, sweetie. Kind of reminds me of a, like a college film student's first time, like trying to be Fellini and not. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, Good. But definitely uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, that consensus shows like the critics loved it. I'm Johnny Q, everybody, and I'm with them in that, what? Okay, Emperor ain't got no clothes on. Somebody's got to say it, right? It's interesting. Usually we do not have the same, we will align, and we did not in this yeah. instance. Yeah, so. it was weird. And then the last one okay. that I saw, because you weren't around and you don't really like scary movies, even though this is more of a sci-fi, is Old by M. Night Shyamalan. I didn't see it. Do not recommend it. There you go. Watch it on streaming when it's there. It's it has something to do. It's not the worst thing. Glowing recommendation for. I mean, if you have old. two hours to kill, I guess you might grow old watching old. <laughs> You're losing two hours of your life, and that's kind of part of the movie. You're losing years of your life, and this is kind of what's happening in the movie. Yeah, it's not. Right. But if you're curious, check it out. I've seen worse. Yeah. Anyway, so as we wrap up, real quick, during history, you finally launched it. Yes. You had your first, first episode. episode out last Friday. You're taking feedback. Taking feedback, already putting a lot into into practice. What I have what I have found is that my so I bartended a bit when I lived in New York. That was a while ago. A while. And basically everything that I learned and all my technique, I forgot it all. Yeah. Or at least it's not it's not second hand, you know, it's uh, or old hat, second hand. Um Things like pouring and stirring techniques and stuff like that. And then just when I'm thinking about everything else, it kind of went out of the window. So I'm going to work on that. And um, the lighting, I think that this is probably better. Looks hopefully. good to me, but who knows? But it's on this tiny little screen, so we don't we never really know until we're actually yeah. editing. Yep. Um, and yeah, the next episode should be out a, like next Friday. Because I'm trying to leave like two weeks between episodes. Sometimes it'll be one week, but... Two weeks, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I don't burn myself out. Um, lemonade. Yeah, so you won't always be doing alcohol. It's not drinks. all alcoholic. It's it's the first one of the not the first, but one of the first lemonade recipes from the 17th century. Um, and talking about kind of the history of lemonade and stuff it goes back to medieval Arabia, which is cool. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And then I've got a beer recipe coming up that it's beer punch that uh, should have some cool stuff. And then a lot more cocktails as well. 
and I'm working with some cool people who have like old, they make old style um, liqueurs and stuff. So I'll be getting some of those to actually work with, which will be a lot of fun because a lot of the recipes that I'm gonna be going through are from the 1860s to like 1920s. And a lot of the ingredients are very, very hard to find if even possible, um, you know, Kirsch water and, and some different bitters and stuff. So uh, from an outsider kind of perspective, I, it does feel still very American Eurocentric. Are you going to try and like dabble into other cultures? I know it's, I, it's a little I will, harder. but they, especially alcoholic recipes, there just aren't any. People didn't really write. Cocktails is a very <laughs> American thing. Uh, you know, there are a few drinks from Europe, but cocktails was an American invention, really. Mm -hmm. um, and of course there's, you know, it's a huge cocktail culture in Japan now, but that's not drinking history, that's drinking like the early 2000s. So, um, and then, you know, uh, how many times can I make mead in how many, you know, there are tons of recipes, but they're all kind of the same. Um, and, you know, I would love to make sake or, you know, some of soju or something like that, but again, that's one episode, so. Um, it is going to be very American centric and very Euro centric because of that. But the, the cool thing about drinking history is the stories don't need to be because I really want to branch out. Um, I've got an Australian thing coming up. Uh, really want to branch out on that. I love it. So. And um, I don't go into the comments as often as I once did, but time and time I will. And I too know. Too many comments. I, not too many comments, <laughs> just so no, many. No, keep so them coming. Comments. Keep them coming. Yeah. Or Helps the videos. Put it in my condiment and section. And I usually, if he wants I it. usually end up getting reading. A, I read a lot of them. I just don't respond to as long mm -hmm. as, as many. Well, um, definitely a lot of uh, absinthe requests. And oh, yeah. oh, well, I read like every comment on on this new video. Yeah, every single one. Absinthe is definitely coming. Honestly, so I have some absinthe right here. Perno, one of the originals. Um, Absinthe superior. Um, was that expensive? Yes. How expensive? I think this was like, this bottle was like $80. Oh my God. I'm not you can get cheaper absinthe. And honestly, most, most absinths come in bottles this big. So this was probably like $40. Um, but I wanted one of, again, one of these older style recipes. Um, but yes, I will be covering the history of absinthe. Honestly, see, so many of these things like could be multiple episodes, um, but absinthe may just get its own episode. I think if it only gets one episode, it'll probably have to be a long one. It will be a long, well, that's the thing. So it'll be a long one. So it'll basically be an entire tasting history, you know, 16, 17, 18 minute video. And I don't have time to do a lot of those every, you know, I can't do two of those a week. So, but maybe in December or something, but uh, leading up until then, it might be rough. Sounds good to me. Yay! Well, anyway, thank you for the time, Maxwell. And thank you. Thank you to our historians and our followers. Check us out on Instagram. I'm at World Against Jose. Tasting history with Max Miller. And also at I'm Twitter. Max Miller, by the way. <laughs> People seem to not know that. Matt Miller. Uh, even even on my Discord. I tell you that, on so my Discord, that. So people that actually follow who you are like and know really into and the invested. channel, they're going onto the Discord and following. And somebody asked, "Who is Max Miller that they keep talking about?" Uh. And somebody was like. Are you kidding He's me? He's the person that you're looking at every week. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to say my name more often, clearly. You say it all the time. I never say my name on Don't you? In, in episodes, never. God. It's on, it, you know, it's it's part of the channel name, but I never say my name. So that, 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 that might need Maybe to Maybe for the next recording. Hi, my name is Max Miller. Yeah. Bold. <laughs> I mean, that's right. Even when we go out and people know, see, like people recognize me, they never say my name. They say, "Are you tasting history?" Hey guys! Are you tasting? Yeah, hey, nobody YouTube knows my person. name. So I should probably start saying my name more. I'm not very good at branding, clearly. No, you're you're doing just <laughs> wonderful. Um, but anyway, uh, so again, those are Instagram handles and Twitter. You can be found at Tasting History One. You're verified, and you have a one in front of. That's crazy. I know. And I'm uh, at Twitter, World Against Jose without the E at the end. World Against Joss. Joss. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, wishing you a wonderful week, month, and until the next episode, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>